Finally tonight, you know, the talk today may have been about trade and about Uber, but Jeff Bezos also made a big statement, not related to Amazon, but to his vision for space exploration. And his grand vision and aggressive timeline may sound like he's taking a page from Amazon's playbook. Morgan Brennan has our story for us tonight. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos unveiling Blue Moon. A lunar lander his space company Blue Origin has been developing for years. At an invite-only event in D.C., the world's richest man taking his lunar ambitions public, saying the lander could be used to meet NASA's new ambitious deadline of getting Americans back on the moon in just five years. I love this. It's the right thing to do. And for those of you doing the arithmetic at home, that's 2024. And we can help meet that timeline, but only because we started three years ago. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. In what was perhaps his most sweeping comments to date on his interplanetary vision, of Bezos power. betting on a future in which Earth is utilized for habitation and light industrial use, and space for heavy industry, like mining and manufacturing. And he also believes at some point we could have self-sustaining orbiting colonies called O'Neill colonies. But that will come later. Right now, Bezos sees the current task as making space less expensive and more accessible, a strategy that starts with reusable rockets. We have to use the resources of space. We must have a future for our grandchildren and their grandchildren. And it's this generation's job to build that road to space so that the future generations can unleash their creativity. When that is possible, you will see amazing things happen. Bezos, who's been selling about a billion dollars worth of Amazon stock annually to fund Blue Origin, also making clear he's not as interested in Mars, unlike Elon Musk at SpaceX. Rather, he's betting big on space for Earth. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.